Hi everyone, welcome to 40k on point, the channel that quantify warmer 40k. This video describes the heavy support choice for the ARCs uh, and it is using our predefined methodology. If you want to know more about the metrics that are used in this video, please follow the link in the description. So the units that will be uh, analyzed in this video are the battle wagon, death dreads, flash gits, gun wagon, killer cans, lutas and mech guns. The first unit that we analyze is the battle wagon for 175 points. You are getting a model armed with the big shooter, a uh, kill cannon and the death roller. The kill cannon is a 24 inch AVD6 strength 8 AP-2 damage 2 weapon. The death roller is very interesting. It gives 6 attack, weapon skill 2 plus, strength 8 AP-2 and 2 damage. The unit has a 12 inch of movement and overall defensively for 175 points you are getting 16 wounds of toughness 7 and a save 4 plus. The Daka 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 rule was uh, considered and uh, op the uh, art case was not uh, taken into consideration. Uh, the unit, because it has a kill cannon, can transport 12 models. So overall, the battle wagon performed well in our metrics, reaching an overall value of 120%. Its uh, shooting per point is uh, not very good. Uh, however, thanks to its uh, death roller, its uh, melee capacity is very interesting. So that gives a good damage output per point for that unit in close combat and uh, the defensive cost is low and its mobility is good thanks to its ability to open top uh, transport the uh, infantry models so they can shoot inside so that's translate into the mobility factor um, so overall it makes a unit that in which its offensive output is a bit better than its defensive cost therefore it's a unit that is definitely worth its point so for 95 points, you are getting one Death Dread armed with two Big Shooter and two uh, Dread, uh, Dread Claw. Uh, and the unit is having a move of 6, Weapon Skill 3+, plus, Ballistic Skill 5+. Plus. It has uh, a total of 4 attacks, Strength uh, 10, AP-3, Damage 3. Uh, on the defensive aspect, those uh, 95 points buys you 8 wounds of toughness 7 and a save 3 plus. The Death Dread also performed well in our metrics, reaching a score of 122%. Uh, because it has the cheapest gun it can have, the, its uh, uh, shooting capacity is uh, pretty low per point. Uh, its melee capacity is okay, especially against a vehicle like a lot of uh, dreadnoughts. Um, its fortitude score is pretty good, so that makes a unit in which the defensive cost is uh, lower than average. Uh, you have other um, build that you can do with the Death Dread, but a lot, a lot of them you are trading uh, some offensive capacity for higher defensive cost, so that brings a unit still got close to uh, keep its pointing its value so overall it is a unit that is uh, considered to be a bit more than worth its point next we have the flash gits which is a 160 point unit so uh, for a 160 point you are getting uh, four flash gits and one captain they all have five inch movement weapon skill three plus ballistic skill four plus strength five three attacks and they are all armed with the SNAS gun which is a 24 inch weapon heavy 3 strength 6 AP minus 2 and damage 2 uh, the rules here we go and daka 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 was taken into consideration as uh, did the, the gun crazy show off which allowed to uh, shoot again on uh, 6 uh, during the shooting phase so it increased the, the volume of fire and the Gifta Squig was also considered, so the captain has plus one for shooting attack. And the Amorant Arver was uh, not considered. 
and the uh, also the captain is armed with a uh, chopper and this analysis defensively for um, 160 points you are getting 10 wounds of toughness 4 and a save 4 plus so overall the flash gets performed well in our metrics reaching a score of 114 percent uh, it has a very very versatile and uh, efficient shooting capacity per point so good damage its anti-tank shooting is close to be a four star um, however its melee uh, is not that good uh, and it's uh, you are paying for that offensive capacity so the fortitude score the defensive cost of the unit is uh, much higher than than uh, than average so that makes a unit uh, you're paying for each wound but overall the damage output and the capabilities of that unit is a bit better than uh, its uh, defensive cost so that makes a unit uh, that is definitely worth its point Next, we have the gun wagon. So for 175 points, you are getting one model armed with a kill cannon. The unit has a 12 inch of movement, weapon skill 5 plus, ballistic skill by 5 plus. It has a six attack of strength eight. The kill cannon is a 24 inch weapon, heavy D6, strength eight, AP minus two, and two damage. On the defensive element, for 175 points, you are getting 16 wounds, toughness 8, save 4 plus. The Daka 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 rule was considered. Also, Periscope, which allowed to move twice with the Kel Cannon if it moves half its speed. Also, the unit can transport 12 infantry models. Overall, the gun wagon performed poorly on our metrics. It reached a score of 67%. So uh, the unit has no melee capacity uh, and its uh, shooting is uh, okay, but not very good. Even if it has a good mobility and a good uh, the fortitude score, that means its defensive cost is low. Uh, the damage output and the offensive potential of the gun wagon do not uh, come close to the uh, defensive cost of that unit so that's why this unit is considered to not be worth their point next we have the killer cans for 50 points you are getting one model armed with the big shooter and the can claw so the unit has a six inch of movement weapon skill five plus ballistic skill four plus it has three attacks with the can claw uh, with a strength of eight AP minus three, damage three. On the defensive side, the unit for 50 points, you are getting five wounds of toughness five and the save three plus. The rule Daka 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 was considered, but uh, not Scragem, which is interesting. If the unit has three or more model, you increase by one its attack. So the Killer Cans had a good performance on our metrics, reaching a score of 104%. The main element is the, the defensive cost of that unit is very low. You for 50 points, you have 10, you have five wounds uh, and toughness five, save three plus. So it's very, very solid unit. Uh, and the damage capacity of that unit is mostly in melee uh, and it's pretty good against vehicle. Uh, the uh, however the shooting with the big shooter is not uh, not very good but if you consider everything it gives an offensive output that is uh, equal to its uh, defensive cost so overall that unit is worth its point next we have the lutas so for 100 points you are getting five lutas and uh, each lutas, lutas is armed with the death gun which is a 48 inch heavy D3, strength seven, AP minus one, damage D2, essentially uh, auto cannon. And um, the unit is having the standard uh, uh, orcs infantry uh, stat line. So nothing uh, particular on that aspect. So for 100 points, you are only getting five wounds of toughness four and a save six plus. So it's very expensive per wounds. 
And that is the main reason why this unit did not perform well in our metrics, reaching a very low score of 41%. That is because of its very high defensive cost, even if the unit has some offensive output, mainly on the shooting aspect, it do not reach per point uh, the defensive cost. And uh, even if they all have auto cannons, you are paying for them. So uh, per point, the anti-tank and anti-personal shooting is not that great. So uh, that is uh, the reason why this unit is not considered to be worth its point. Next, we have the mech guns. So for 40 points, you are getting one mech gun with uh, six grot and uh, the mech gun is armed with the smasha gun which is a 48 inch the heavy d3 uh, strength the strength is special because you roll 2d6 if you get equal or greater than the toughness uh, you make the wound so essentially uh, against tank it gives a uh, uh, between a strength uh, uh, seven and eight and against infantry it's uh, above uh, it's, it's, it's better than uh, twice the, uh, the toughness. So it's an interesting uh, unit, it's an interesting cannon. Uh, the armor penetration is minus four and the damage is D6. Overall, a, a good weapon. And uh, for 40 point, it is, uh, it is interesting. On the defensive aspect, uh, you are getting for 40 point, six wound of toughness five and a save five plus. On the, however, the mech gun has only a three inch movement uh, and a ballistic skill of, uh, of uh, four plus. It has six, six attacks with a weapon skill of uh, five plus and only a strength of two. So that's a very unusual uh, data. And with those unusual data, the mech guns perform very well in our metrics. So per point, this uh, shooting it was excellent, uh, exceptional anti-tank uh, shooting unit per point, a good anti-personal shooting unit per point, and its defensive cost is very low. You are getting for 40 points, you are getting six wounds, uh, toughness uh, five. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. And uh, so overall, that makes a unit that is definitely uh, exceptional, reaching a score of 234%. Of course, it's mainly suck, but it's, uh, it's a damage output per point compared to its defensive cost per point, makes a unit that is more than twice uh, its value in, in uh, twice the, the, the damage output compared to the defensive cost. So very, very good unit for uh, the orcs. So uh, the Orcs has a lot of heavy uh, support options. Uh, the one presented here are not the heavy walker, it's uh, the other options for uh, heavy uh, support choice. Uh, there are some very interesting choice. Uh, there are just two uh, units that are not interesting, which is the Gunwagon and the Lutas. I think there are uh, other uh, opportunity for uh, list based uh, with uh, Battle Wagon, Death Dread, Flash Gits, and Killacans. I think they can be turned uh, competitive, uh, those units, with uh, a little bit of tweak. And, but the Mech Guns by itself is reaching the 200% uh, competitive uh, benchmark. So uh, it is very, very, uh, would be very efficient in uh, many ARC lists. If we push the analysis further, uh, the killer cans, uh, if we uh, have more than three models, it brings the unit to a value of 126%. Uh, the grot mob uh, specialist uh, mobs uh, uh, gives a six plus and vulnerable save and also a reroll of one on attacks for a vehicle model. And uh, if you take for the killer cans, the custom job uh, dirty gubbins, which increase by one the ballistic skill, uh, it brings to 171%. And if you have a knob with a wag banner, uh, that increase against by one the uh, the melee capacity, uh, then uh, you comes to the unit that is worth 231%, reaching 
reaching the benchmark of 200% to uh, be considered competitive. The mech gun uh, are, however, uh, competitive by themselves, but if we just consider the, the uh, impact of the specialist mob, uh, Grot mob, it brings the unit to 287% with the 6 plus and vulnerable save and the reroll of one on their attacks, so it has a significant impact on an already very uh, efficient unit. Next, uh, we have the battle wagon. So if we take the custom job Fort Terrest, it uh, brings the unit to 163%. Fort Terrest gives a safe 3 plus and also 5 plus and vulnerable. So uh, it gives a defensive uh, boost uh, to that unit. And uh, boarding action is uh, one common point stratagem. Uh, that allows to, for the uh, unit inside to make uh, one attack uh, with uh, their melee weapon. So it brings the unit, if we consider that there's 20 infantry model inside, it brings the unit to a 229% of value. So overall, it brings the unit over 200% and reaching the competitive benchmark. This video described the heavy support choice for the arcs using our normalized metrics. Please feel free to uh, comment on how to increase the efficiency of those units. Also, subscribe if you like this content. I will upload all the units of 40k using exactly the same method. Thank you for watching. Over and out.